In this video, I'm going to show you how to display Windows Windows or your Windows desktop within Steam VR. This is particularly handy if you're a streamer and you want to see your chat room, or maybe you just want to play a VR game whilst also monitoring what's going on with other aspects of your computer. So, hold on to your horses, sip your tea, let's go. So as many of you know, if you've got an Oculus Rift headset, it has a really nice desktop mirror window viewing uh, feature built into it where you can pin windows and view them in VR. Well, thankfully, thanks to OVR Toolkit, which you can buy as an application on Steam, you can now do that in Steam VR. And uh, we've got it running at the moment on the screen. And basically, let me put my headset down. Basically, this is literally the same sort of thing that you get in in the oculus desktop view so once you've got it once you've got it installed it runs up it runs as a um a, a unity program you can set it to run every time you load into steam it'll pop up as a window you do have to click a button saying allow this program to run when you launch steam but uh once you've got it installed you've then got the ability to mirror your windows and you can position them as you want to whether that's you want to lock a window onto your controller or if you want to position it in the world space or if you want to just lock it to your headset which is what i do when i've been doing uh, vr whilst live streaming what i do is i have a mirror set um of the of one of my my separate computer well, i have it i have a mirror of the browser which uses the Chrome desktop to then show what's on the other computer so I can see my OBS on the other computer in the chat room. But ultimately, you can basically have anything you want there. And the nice thing is that being able to lock it to the headset, you can put your chat room in the top corner, you can add a bit of transparency to this window and it follows you around wherever you move your head. Um, I, I, what I would say though is if unless you've got like a valve index or a high resolution VR headset this might not be too good you might have to place it in the world to get it more in the sweet spot but with the uh, valve index we've been using this to live stream and see the chat room it's actually been pretty good uh, really in terms of the features that you get from this it literally is just a case of you you double press a or double squeeze the uh, the grip controller and then when you do that when the program's running you can then literally just select whatever window uh that you want it to uh to mirror into virtual reality and it will and then it will uh, go wherever you happen to have placed it you can drag multiple windows out which is pretty nice but i would say uh, at the moment there is one downside to this app and that is that it's quite demanding in terms of uh, if, if you're playing a game that's already very demanding this app adds uh, a fair amount to the overhead uh so it's not quite as seamless and smooth as the oculus vr desktop is where you can have that running and it doesn't seem to impact things too much this does impact things probably around about i think it puts like a sort of 10 15 percent overhead so you've got to be aware of that if your computer is right on the edge right on the edge of uh, hitting your your frame rates but you do get options to set the actual um the actual frame rate for the windows uh, so so that the windows are running a bit slower you're not capturing the windows at really high high rates of speed uh, which gets you allows you to get the actual performance without impacting things too much i just run it on the 10 fps i guess if you're watching films in vr with this then you then you might want to run it at higher fps but for a stream chat room um this has been absolutely fantastic being able to place it there and have the window be be what i what i need to see the chat room um now I'll demonstrate some of the settings here. I've just got the uh, Steam, just the Steam uh, background going on here. I wanted to keep it nice and simple. I want to make it nice and clear for you. But we can load into, uh, we could load into, oh, if I load into Pavlov, you won't be able to see the mirror of what I'm doing with my hands. <laughs> we could load something in the Steam environment. Let's do that. Let's go to settings. Let's just load a, uh, let's just load a uh, customized scene. Put an image there. I don't know. What should we go for? Go for a different background. So I have this background and let's put a bit of environment on there. I have noticed with the Valve Index is some of the environments don't seem to work too well. Um, for some, whatever reason, they don't load. I don't know if that's a Steam Workshop thing. We go in the, the holodeck. There we go. <laughs> so you can there see it there. Now what I'll do is I'll change the opacity of it. 
and you can there you go so you can barely see the window now on the screen but really they, i mean there's not really that much to say about it other than if you wanted to de to mirror desktop views in vr this is currently the best program that i'm aware of uh, that works a really nice thing as well is that what i found is once i've set this up and got this right and actually have it mirroring the the uh the, the thing that i want mirrored so let's uh i normally have it mirroring the there you go fat box google chrome there we go so now <laughs> you can see what i can see that's the my other computer there so once i've got that set up like this really nicely as long as i've got chrome open um and when I start Steam VR, it loads it and it loads it in exactly the position that I've left it. So you don't have to do the whole fiddling thing. That was one of the things with the Oculus, um, uh, with, with the Oculus desktop, is that every time you load it up, I found I had to reposition the window. Uh, so that's really nice that it does that. You can, as I say, you can do multiple windows. Uh, we, <laughs> we can do multiple headset mirror here. We're gonna lock it. Should we lock it to the world? Let's do that. Advanced settings. Uh, or left controller. Let's put it on the left controller. Oh, there you go. It's attached to the left controller now. So, if you wanted a situation where maybe, I don't know, maybe you're playing a flight simulator and you had something on your desktop, like a map or something else, and you just wanted to position this on your controller so it's always there and you could lift your controller up and see it. You know, it is exactly the same really as uh, what you've got on the oculus dash but it's just nice to have it in uh, in steam let me put this back on the headset oh <laughs> you can if you put stuff on the controller and then, and then you switch option there you can do it so it's not actually in your view and then you then you have to like work out where it, where it is but let's put that back there let's go back to uh, my obs mirror oh no that's the mirror of the obs so if you're recording vr videos that could be quite handy that's not what I wanted though. I wanted to go back to my fat box. <laughs> and there we go. I mean, you use the grip, the grip on the controller to actually grab the window and, and then lock it in place. But there's not really that much more to say, to be honest. I just want really with this video, I just really wanted to make people aware that this is now an option with Steam. I know it came out a while ago. Um, but I found it absolutely fantastic. Uh, and it's what we're gonna be using when we do future uh uh, future streams in VR uh, using using any Steam VR VR headset. So, as I say, anything that's on Steam VR, this will work with. But uh, uh, guys, I hope I hope you found that useful. Um, not the most delightful of videos, not the most exciting, but, but that's what it is. Better to make people aware because I'll get asked this question repeatedly. I always do in a stream uh, with with a with a chat room. They're like, how can you see the chat? Well, this is how you can see it. So, uh, yes, anticlimactic finish. <laughs> I've recorded this video using the microphone on the index, so hopefully that sounds okay. And you also get the benefit of not having any webcams because I'm recording this off the PC that I'm using. Uh, so, so you can't see my webcam, so no ugly faces. Fantastic. But uh, until the next one, guys, hope you enjoyed this. Hope you found it useful. Check out OVR Toolkit. Subscribe and like. And uh, goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Take care. Goodbye.